The news really does a great job of getting it wrong. It's official. The Avengers have failed and we are officially in the darkest timeline. So we all know Ren, modern day bard, dope ass MC, the Shakespeare of our time. Well, according to CNN, he's also someone who likes to drink the blood of virgins before he goes to bed at every night and feast on the anxiety and fears of little kids. Hide your children. In all seriousness, CNN has published what is one of the most atrocious examples of covering the news in our time. And one of their targets is none other than Ren. But don't take my word for it. Let's see what he has to say about it. So a fucking incredible thing happened. CNN used my video to show that TikTok is poisoning the minds of children all over the world. You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me. We have a sort of like veiled reference to suicide in here. But before I get into that, there's just some amazing, um well, she's a genius. We have this veiled reference to suicide in here. Would, would you like the microphone? You, you can do my job for me. Amazing things about this video that I wanted to share with you. CNN created this TikTok profile with the help of a 14 year old and their parents before taking control of it. Why? Why did you need the help of a 14 year old and their parent to set, <laughs> to set up a TikTok account? I mean, you could just set up a TikTok account, CNN, and then put your age as 14. It would have been a fucking lot easier. The Indiana AG alleges that teenagers can type partial search terms and the app will autocomplete with suggestions. Yeah, like any good search engine that has ever yes. been invented, ever. Like, I don't know why they're saying this with sinister conspiracy undertones. Seems to be yeah, I mean, you start typing in anything. You start typing in Knox and then it'll just fill in the blanks. Hill has a huge pair of shoes. He's sort of giving you a guide for how to develop an eating disorder, how to restrict your eating. <laughs> That's just pictures of food. A lot of parents are sitting there going, hold on a sec, I thought TikTok was about dance crazes. All right, first of all, they're not thinking that. Second of all, wait for the head turn. Parents are sitting there going, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. We have another depression related video. Again, in the comments you have, I can relate to this and I'm only in middle school. I can relate to this and I'm in high school. Okay, we've got hashtag suicide, hashtag don't kill yourself. Explaining my depression. Why is it so bad to be able to relate to something? Huh? Question to my mother, a conversation. CNN flagged more than a dozen videos we came across during our experiment to TikTok. It removed three of them for violating its community guidelines. If you watch that whole CNN video, the sentiment is teenagers who are getting themselves TikTok accounts are then exposed to people talking about things like suicide, eating disorders, mental health problems, and things like that. The ironic thing is it looked to things me like all the videos that they chose were actually resources for people trying to support people who are having suicidal thoughts or eating disorders or mental health problems. And CNN had taken all of those and gone, TikTok is making our kids want to kill themselves. It's like, <laughs> all the videos have used of people who want to help. Oh, I gotta love the American impression that, there. So it's, yeah, I understand, right? That by being exposed to a lot of that sort of stuff, maybe somebody can start romanticizing it, okay? I do understand that, but I feel like CNN are just criticizing it to criticize it. They're not offering no real mm. solutions to that. And they're not acknowledging the benefits of young people being able to share and express themselves and talk to each other and relate to each other when they might feel scared to do that in like a school environment or a public setting. But exactly. CNN don't seem to be offering any solutions other than total censorship. You know, like if we just sweep that under the rug, we don't have to think about it so it doesn't exist. I mean, it's crazy though, isn't it? Because they reported multiple videos. And we don't know if they actually reported Ren's video because they use it as an example. So they are literally trying to censor Ren for his song and for his message. It's crazy. Of course it still exists. You just haven't given people the resource to be able to share about it. And look, you're trying to bubble wrap all the people who have never experienced trauma to the detriment of the people who have. And my song in that bit of great reporting was um, also taken out of context. It was, it's a song about accepting your inner critical thought so that you can live a more peaceful and happy life. My thing is, if you're going to- Accepting your inner critic. I thought it was a song about baking cookies. No, in, in all seriousness, so it, it doesn't take a genius to watch all of Ren's video and then to digest and to appreciate what the true message is. And like we talked about, you know, he talks about such a heavy, dark subject, but there is a message of hope and a message of acceptance and moving forward at the end of it. And if this reporter was worth her job or actually did it correctly, she would have watched the entire video, not just taken a single lyric, a single moment out of complete context and use it to suit 
the narrative that they want to paint and what they want to do. See what they're doing in this situation? You could take any song. If you just pick one song lyric, you are not going to gleam the true meaning of that song via one single bar. I mean, hell, that's why we have a breakdown channel where we spend like a half hour just breaking down line for line for line. And then at the end, we put it all together and we try to figure out what it means. You can't just take one single line and twist that out of context. You have to look at the meaning of the entire song and what the overall message is. It's just, it, it's absolutely wrong. It's disgusting of CNN to do something like that just to suit their narrative. Oh, TikTok is bad. Get rid of all these videos. Everybody's going to have mental health problems. Yeah. Thing is, if you're going to criticize something, at least follow it up with something with a little bit of substance or a solution mm. rather than just moaning about it. And also consider the fact that if these topics are trending and being fed to people within search algorithms, it might not be causative, it might mm. be reactionary because we're living in an epidemic of insecurity that's caused not just by the fact that we're constantly under a microscope 24 seven in social media, but also things like over sensationalization in the news, channels like CNN. And really we all Shots need to take fired back. to lift each other up because that's the way that we're gonna heal. Thank you. I love that's, that's the MC in him, right? You diss me, eventually he's going to send the shots back that way at CNN. But it's so true, though. And I find it so funny because this is the same news site and the same resource that had a fact checker for all of the lies and misinformation that Donald Trump told. And they touted themselves as this great, honest media full of integrity. But at the end of the day, when you boil it down, I don't care if it's Fox News, if it's, if it's more conservative media, I don't care if it's more liberal media, misinformation is contagious on all sides of the spectrum. It's like we exist now in a world of social media where it is all about over-dramatization, right? Fear-mongering, scare-mongering. Why? And we've talked about this because these are how the algorithms are now set up. They know that when you're upset, that when you are angry, over an issue or you're shocked or you're scared, you're going to spend more time online because you want to find out more information. You might get into arguments with different people. If you're happy, if you're satisfied, you're not going to spend as long on these platforms. You're not going to spend as much time engaging. So the news and outlets and everyone, they're keyed into that. They know how the algorithm works. So it's more now about all these headlines that are just going to get you to click over sensationalized headlines because it's about clicks 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 earn you engagement which in turn you can serve ads which in turn help to fuel the media machine and keep things turning so i see more and more trends in the media nowadays of you know the end of the world is coming you know whether it's war whether it's mental health whether it's this issue or that issue everything now turns into these extreme headlines, these extreme situations to make you afraid. Why? Because it keeps you more engaged. So is it surprising that we now have this social media world and realm where everything is about one team versus the other team, this divisive issue over this divisive issue. And now all of a sudden you have people that are suffering more mental health problems from being online, from their engagement online. But see, this is where CNN really gets it wrong and where it is just absolutely disgusting from then in terms of their coverage because they didn't do what they're supposed to do as a news outlet. You are supposed to back up your claims with research, with sources. This is obviously, you know what? I'm going to look up the person who did this because I think Ren went after them on Twitter as well. Yeah, congratulations, Claire Duffy. You're horrible at your job. But anyways, it's obvious that they have this narrative that they want to fulfill about how bad TikTok is, how it is harmful for young teens suffering from mental health issues. So they are going to leverage whatever content and whatever sound bites they can to suit that narrative. Instead of stepping back and trying to be objective, they put their own opinion and their own sway on it to try to sway you, the viewer, and to try to convince you of their argument that these videos are creating more mental health issues. But like Ren points out, that's not actually solving the problem. That's not even getting to the root of the problem. The root of the problem is why are these videos so popular? Well, because there's more people who can relate to them. They're trending for a reason. How many people have commented on Ren's videos? How many people have commented on this channel? How much Ren's music is like a light to them in the darkness? How much they struggle and how his music actually helps. 
versus these headlines and these gross situations from the news and big media machines that want to manipulate you and manipulate your emotions, but they don't provide you with anything positive. And that's what Ren's music is. He sheds light on things that are uncomfortable to talk about, things that not everybody wants to mention. Well, he brings light to them, but what he does is he doesn't just leave it there because anyone can critique, anyone can hate, but if you truly care about an issue, you're going to take it a step further. And that fundamental step is trying to find and propose solutions. Provide us with a positive. Sure, critique something, point out the negatives of a situation, but find a way to fix that situation. Find a way to help it, not to be a part of the problem yourself. And it is incredibly hypocritical that a media outlet that constantly over-sensationalizes headlines is going to critique someone's music for over-sensationalizing an issue. That is the most backward of logic I have ever fucking seen. But it's obvious that they didn't really spend time researching Rent, getting to know the true meaning of the song. They just heard a lyric. That's great. That'll suit our soundbite. We can use that. Let's plug it in and just move on from there. And there's no accountability. There's no repercussions from it. Well, guess what? That's why I made a video on this. That's why Ren's made a video on this situation. After you guys are done watching this, do me a favor. Go check out Ren. I will put the links to him below. Go tag CNN. Go let them know what you think about it because this is not right. And I'm always going to stand up for a fellow independent artist, especially in a situation like this. It's like David versus Goliath, isn't it? You have a big media machine coming after a nobody to them. Well, all the nobodies stand together and unite.